Hey, of course, good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borg, and there's going to be a video on Denmark upsetting the Czech Republic in their first ever game is the Dane or the Denmark team, excuse me, for the men and women is both in the Olympics this year for the first time. And the men's team starts off with a bang beating David Krejci's Czech Republic team. And, um, Lord Lordson, um, who had the first goal for them, Marcus Lordson, shooting it from the point, also had a key block on set David Krejci late in the game uh, to keep them from having the ability to tie the game. Uh, since, of course, Czech Republic did have a goal on an absolute uh, sniper in the second period from their captain, uh, Cervenka, uh, Roman Cervenka, who was able to get it done and snipe one in the vet, 36-year-old overseas vet um, that's coming in to the Olympics to play for Czech Republic without, maybe he would have been in there still being a vet, but without the NHL going over, uh, probably would have because the Czech Republic doesn't have an abundance of guys, but he's able to get it done. And then the goaltending matchup in this game ended up being pretty good. Uh, um, Simon Herbeck, uh, he plays in the KHL and honestly got outplayed uh, by Dom, who did let that one flutter, like um, the shot, by the captain was a very good wrist shot, and I think the reason why um, that got in uh, by uh, Czech's captain there, Cervenka, is because it was kind of one of those on its edges shots, and then it got past Dom there. But um, I thought he played very well. He plays in the Austrian league, is playing really well over there, but that's obviously not up to the realm of the KHL that Herbeck plays in, and he got outplayed by Dom, so good for Dom to step up in this game play really well to showcase himself to the world and play a very good game, maybe to get put into a better league, like maybe the KHL, the Swedish League, or something going forward, um, rather than staying in a solid up-and-coming league, but not to the degree of those leagues at any stretch of the imagination in the Austrian League that he's playing well in. But the reason uh, they won this game, uh, Denmark, is they were able to get fantastic goaltending. I mean, he outplayed her back by a landslide, 40 shots on goal to 17. Uh, that's the biggest reason. Nobody took advantage of their power play. There was eight total minutes of power play between both teams. Nobody did squat um, when it came to that. But the big thing, too, is if you're a team that's looking to upset, they did exactly what you want to do it right. They pounced. Lordson uh, got a goal early that had a couple bounces that were lucky. And then Franz Nielsen, who from his time in the NHL was one of the best guys if you got him one on penalty shots, and two in shootout, no matter how or where he was ranked at that point of time, even at the end of his career, he would still be put in the lineup in shootout if he was active that night because he's that good, and he obviously capitalized there um, on the backhand, and Franz Nielsen getting the ability to have a guy that's one of the best when you put him on the shootout breakaways or the um, penalty shot breakaways, have that ability is the reason on top of Dom, those are the two best reasons. Their goaltending for Denmark, Franz Nielsen having a big play, and then setting the tempo, scoring two goals in the first period really led them to this upset. So everybody have a great team. This has been a reaction to Denmark upsetting the Czech Republic in their first game in the men's prelim. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. I'll be doing a reaction on the Denmark second game soon. Stay safe out there, and peace out, and enjoy the rest of the Olympics.